Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are installing another smart Zappi charger, but this video is not about the Zappi charger today. This is all about problem solving. Now this is something that we excel at Social Electrical and with this installation we have a difficult cable route and we're going to talk about that and how we are going to overcome all these problems. From the left hand side of the meter box we need to install an EV Ultra cable clipped direct to the wall all the way around to the front right hand side of the property. We then had to solve the issue of getting the cable across the front of the property. Now the EV Ultra cable is designed to be embedded in concrete and it can be laid within the ground providing that suitable mechanical protection is in its place. Because of this I saw no issue in laying the EV Ultra cable within the soaker weight across the front of the property. This got me to the left hand side of the building. From this point I clipped the cable direct to the wall to the far corner of the property and covered it over with soil just to keep it hidden. So with this installation, the garage does actually have a supply to it. It's a 20 amp supply on a 2.5 mil SWA. Now this is insufficient for the Zappi charger. So what I have done is ran a high tough cable from the supply all the way around the house. I found the existing duct where the 2.5 mil cable goes across to the garage, utilized that, pulled my high tough cable through into the garage using linear clips to back entry to the Zappi unit. Okay, this is where the job gets a little bit more interesting. So in this installation we have 100 amp supply on the outside of the meter. Tails then go up in the cavity of the wall to a consumer unit inside this utility room. The consumer unit is absolutely jam packed, no room for any spare ways. And because of the way that this is installed we can't split the tails and put another consumer unit in there. So what we are going to do instead is install this IP rated lockable consumer unit actually on the outside. We're going to install some copex coming out the bottom into the meter cupboard for the meter tails and then take the high tough up into the bottom and terminate it in there as well.
Right, so I have been asked about um, previous videos when I've been stood here playing around with the buttons. And what I'm doing is I'm setting up the date, the time, the grid load management, and also setting this as a master unit, all those bits and bobs. I'm just configuring the charger. So now what I've done is I've connected up my MFT1741 Plus with my EV adapter, and I'm gonna run through all my RCD tests. When you're carrying out the RCD testing, obviously I am tripping the RCDs and there is a button here that you need to push for three seconds to reset the RCD. And that is my RCD test sequence complete. So here we have the finished installation. What we have here is the IP rated consumer unit that's got a lock on it. The high tough cable which is clipped direct to the entire building but we've just covered it over with the shingles. We have the copex that comes down. Then inside we had a big hole here so what I've done is I've fixed a box lid there and then I've glanded the copex into that so that's completely secure now. Inside here we have a new Henley block, a new earth block. We have the CT clamp here which is for the load management. And that's it, all done. So hopefully now you have seen how we overcome some problems with the EV charging installs. The first problem was we could not use the existing consumer unit, so we installed an IP rated consumer unit on the outside next to the meter box. This is absolutely fine to do. We then disguised the cable throughout the whole installation and we have ended up here with the Zappi mounted on the garage. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram.